It's really important that I don't define myself by one single thing. If you're operating from a comfort zone, you are in the wrong business. Growing up in the 80s, painting these t-shirts one piece at a time, I learned that hustle of making something from nothing. I'm into disrupting the status quo of how you speak to your consumer. It's not what you make, it's how you make people feel. I am American business. How is it that the biggest name in urban apparel, the biggest name by far, is not a rapper like Jay-Z or P. Diddy, but is instead this guy? Check, check. Look alive, people. Doors open in one hour. Martha, this is your inner monologue. Put the napkin down. Oh, he's at it again. I love a guy who owns a big bleeping company. His company now has 12 fashion and lifestyle lines, including the original clothing line, Echo Unlimited, and a skater line called Zoo York. Echo also has a magazine and a video game unit. We look at him as a the cultural navigator for the next generation of young men. The way that I got interested in Mark Echo was seeing that Rhino logo on a lot of people on the street because its popularity was growing sort of in lockstep with a number of entrepreneurs and performers and artists in the hip hop world. Endangered status of the rhinoceros, Echo Unlimited presents Expedition to the Top of Rhino Mountain. Atop the musical mountain is the phenomenally popular Ashley Tisdale. My way is always to kind of embody a lifestyle and work my way up. And of course, Star Wars. But now, Mark Echo has a limited line of stuff. Hot guys like Justin Timberlake, David Beckham, everyone is freaking out for this collection. Mark Echo Enterprises is planning to open 150 retail stores by the end of 2009 as part of a large expansion plan. Check out the styles at Mark Echo Cut and Sew. According to Zagat, edgy urban guys will love the printed hoodies, blazers, novelty jeans, and funky t-shirts in this library-like setting described as Gotham Goes Gothic. These guys are rock stars, man. Can we we designed design this. this. I designed this, this, and this jacket. This inspired this. And I made this. They're part of a nonprofit program called Sweat Equity Enterprises, or C, which gives inner city teens a hands on education into the world of design. Co founded by former graffiti artist turned fashion artist Mark Echo, the man behind several urban apparel lines. Now, I remember when I was 14, 15 years old and sitting there and sketching, like when I got a pair of Jordans. <laughs> And, and like I'd open the box and the glue, the smell from like the, the midsole and the rubber and oh, it was amazing. And, it, and I'd sit there and I'd sketch a Jordan, I'd sketch my own sneakers, but it, it was an abstraction on how it was made. And a program like this really kind of says, well, if that interests you, maybe that that is your entryway to learn all this other stuff that you're gonna need to, to succeed in life. And over the past few years, Echo has lent his name and face to the battle over graffiti. Echo even joined seven young artists in filing a First Amendment lawsuit. Echo is also engaged in some savvy self-promotion. He created an internet sensation when he posted this video online, which appears to show Echo tagging Air Force One, earning himself tons of free publicity and also street credibility. Now you want the public to help you decide I don't want the ball what anymore. to do with it. I don't want the You're ball just going to give it away? Well, I've set up a website at vote756.com. Finally settling this debate of should there be a footnote and, on and the record. And after you brand it, what, then what do you do with it? I'm going to drive it up to the Hall of Fame. We're probably around 10 million votes. We've created the 
ultimate virtual media pundit. I wanted the ball to democratize the ball and to give the ball to the people. I would wake up in the middle of the night saying, why did I spend $750,000 for a baseball? You sound like my wife. <laughs> 10 million votes in, and the people, obviously, their impassioned response tells us that baseball is alive and well. The envelope is here. Drum roll. They really have a drum roll. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> a moment's notice. Uh, we're going to have to find a different artifact to send up to space, Matt. Ah, okay. And 80% of America total want this ball on this earth, and it will go to Cooperstown Hall of Fame with the brand at 47%. Maybe we'll learn something about ourselves in this process. Hmm, I, I vote for the asterisk if I only I had three choices. That's a pretty good idea.